In this video, you will learn the basics of Stream in Angular, which I implemented with a RxJS library. And we will do one example with normalizing our API data, so you can see how it is working. Hi, I am Alexander Kaherhin from Monster Lessons Academy, where I am teaching you how to become a developer or improve your skills of being a developer in learning by doing way. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will link in the description below everything that I mentioned in the video. And just to remind you, this video is a part of the free series Angular for Beginners. So let's jump right into it. In previous video, we created user service where we implemented several methods to work with API. It was get users, remove user and add user. And if you didn't check that video, go check it now first. So now I want to talk a little bit about our user service because we wrote it with the help of a RISC.js and we have here observables. And I think it's not super clear for you what are observables, streams, RxJS, and how it works all together inside Angular. So let's start from the scratch. What are streams? Stream is something where you can th check the value at any point of the time. And every time when we get new value inside the stream, then if we subscribe to the stream, we are getting the callback there. This is something similar to the promises in JavaScript, but it is a little bit better because in promises with then you can simply get the value only once. But streams are different, you can get value more than once, which means every time when your value inside stream is updated, then you are getting inside subscribe, for example. And anything can be a stream, not only promise. For example, a stream can be a subscription uh, for the mouse over or mouse leave or any DOM event that you want. And then when this event is happening again and again, you will get in the subscribe. Of course, also HTTP client library uh, in Angular is written with support of RxJS, which means everything that we are getting from HTTP is also a stream, so it's an observable. This is why we can subscribe inside our component with dot subscribe, because it's the easiest way to get the result of the stream. So, just to remind you, RxJS is an additional library and it is doing streams. Then Angular decided to put this library as a dependency inside Angular and to write everything that we see in Angular with streams, which means you must learn at some point the RxJS library. Uh, if you know RxJS better and if you understand streams better, it's easier for you to write Angular code. So let's check our examples. So here we are getting everywhere observable and inside observable we are passing the value of what we are getting back. Which means for example in get users we are getting back this HTTP get and this gives us an observable of user interface array. But of course we can do more. First of all, we can change values of the stream in any way how we want. Why it is important and what do we want to do with it? So the idea is that, for example, we are in our component app component and we have here subscribe. And it may be that we want to transform our stream or change it or maybe uh, create several streams or combine several streams. We can all do it with the help of RxJS. This is why it is so important. In this video, I want to check the simple way of normalizing data using a RxJS. So here, for example, with get users, we are getting back an observable. But we can normalize data that we are getting from our API before they are coming to subscribe. Why it is good? That means that uh, we can use get users in every place and we don't need to write normalization when we call it inside our app component, for example. So, of course, we can somehow create additional function and write here normalize users and then we are passing inside users, but it doesn't make any sense because this means that we need to call normalize users in every place where we are using this service. It would be much nicer when we are writing normalize inside here. 
How we can do that? We can't here just write some plain JavaScript code. So we can't write here, for example, map, because what we are getting back is an observable. This is why here TypeScript is saying property map does not exist on the observable. And this is exactly true because there are a lot of other methods inside the RigsJS which help us to work with observables. So in this case we get back our users. And this is an array of users, this is how it looks like, we can check it inside the network here. So we are getting back an array and let's say that we want to change for example age. And now it's a number, but let's say we want a string, for example, 21 years old. And as we want to normalize it here in get users, we will get then normalized data everywhere where we are using our service. And this is exactly what we want. The question how we can do that? And for this, inside observable, there is such method as a pipe. What is pipe? Pipe is a solution to um, apply several functions to our observable. What does it mean? We can um, give here function 1, function 2, function 3. And we are getting here in every of this function the result of our observable and the new value. Which means, for example, here we get our array. For example, at the beginning it can be empty. Then this empty array comes in function 1. We are making there some transformation or filtering or whatever we want. Then the result of function 1 go in function 2, in function function 3 and only then inside our app component here we are getting inside subscribe where we are getting the result after all these transformations. This is exactly how it works. So we need pipe in order to call some functions of RixJS on our observable. So for example there is a function map inside pipe and we need to write it like this. So to normalize data inside our pipe, we are writing map function. And then inside this map function, we need to provide our function. So this is why we have here round brackets and then some result. The question is what we are getting as an argument. It's our users that we fetched, so we simply write here users and this is user interface array. And let's say that inside I just want to return these users and don't do anything. So here is what we wrote. Dot pipe is to combine several functions after we did, um, after we got our observable. And inside pipe in this case we have only map. So this is the first function. We can write here with comma other function. For example one more map or filter or whatever you need. For now we have only one map and this is the map as you can see from RxJS operators. So it's a function from RxJS, we are passing it inside map to map the users. And here as an argument we are getting the array of users, so exactly the value of our observable. And this is really important to remember, because if you work in JavaScript and you are using map, normally you think that inside map you are getting each uh, element of the array. But it's not the case with map inside RxJS. Here it works differently. You simply get a value of your observable, which means here we don't get uh, a user, uh, not each user of the array, but all users at once, like a value of our observable. This is why we have here users, this is user interface, and we simply return them. And let's save this file, look in console, we don't have any errors, and everything is working as previously. So, because we didn't do any code here. What we want to do now is somehow transform these users. And inside here we can write completely plain JavaScript, because here the users is just the array. So we can use for example map here, and inside we have user, and we want to normalize somehow differently data. So we want to return ID, and this will be user ID, name we also don't want to change, and the last thing that we want to change is age. And in this case we want to concatenate, here will be user.age years old. This is it.
And as you can see here, we are getting an error. Observable ID string named string HString is not assignable to type observable user interface array. Why it is happening? Because here age is string. And if we will open our user interface, you can see that age is number. This is why TypeScript is swearing. So we can write here that age will be string now and jump back to the servers. And as you can see now in our service, we don't have any error. So once again, we're writing here pipe, inside we have map to normalize data of our observable and inside we can write any code to return the new value. In this case, we simply normalize with map our users and here change the age. Now let's write console log inside our app component and check what we get inside our users. So here is our array of users and when we reload the page you can see that now age is a string and here we have 21 years old. So this is exactly how you can work with RixJS and transform values of stream. And then inside subscribe you simply get the values and you don't need to think about normalizations. And this is exactly how you are doing things in Angular. If you get from API the data in other format that you need for frontend, so you just write in service normalization and then use it as always inside your components. So we got here our users. Of course, it looks in template a little bit not correct because we have twice years old. So we can simply jump in our users list and remove here years old because we know that in user.h we already have this text. In this video, you learned how to work with streams and RixJS in Angular and how to normalize data with pipe and map if you are getting them from your API. And if Angular for Beginners course is too easy for you, don't forget to check my advanced Angular course, which is going for 10 hours, where I am creating the real application from start to the end. And I will link the link to this course and to my other courses in the description box below. And if you like this video and you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and put thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video.